Hello, oh, Mrs. I'm here today. I am brushing my hair to wash it because I'm going to wash it and I'm going to straighten it. I mean, like, sh straighten it, not just with the um, low heat. Just, like, straighten it <laughs> with the um, flat iron. So, I know it's too hot for all that, but that's... I normally do this around this time of year. Hubby is on vacation. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get my hair together. I didn't do any finger detangling, but what I did was I made the little coconut clean relaxer in this bowl. You see any white around? That's that's cornstarch. Um, I didn't I didn't feel like cooking it in the um pot, so what I did I just warm up the coconut clean concentrate. I just warm this up. I put some coconut oil in it. Um, I put cornstarch. I put some vinegar. I can't really tell you the exact measurements. I just eyeballed it. And I put a little bit of octopus in it. I know that's throwing it off a little bit. And that's not the original recipe, but I just added some octopus. I use vinegar instead of lemon juice because I ain't got no lemon so <laughs> it's alkaline so anything that's alkaline uh is good you just need the lemon juice for the alkaline anyway so I'm gonna wet my hair this is just regular water and prep it because I didn't do no finger detangling, none of that stuff. I just literally took my hair down from those puffs I wore. I'm gonna massage my hair. Smooth it. Yeah, I know my ponytail holders are jacked up. That's why I'm using it for this. <laughs> These some old ponytail holders. See how straight, see that thinness right here? It's pretty old and warm now, so. I will not be combing my hair. I'm going to work with it. With my fingers. You see me grab the comb. It's just for party. It's not, it's just for party. That's it. And I'm gonna take the mixture here, and I'm gonna smooth it. Don't look like oops, here and here because of the. Oh, that's okay. So here. It looks just like mashed potatoes. That's from the cornstarch. <laughs> what sauce is just the um thicken it up? <clears throat> cornstarch is like super safe for the hair. Some women actually use it as a dry shampoo. <clears throat> most women, I'm gonna say most, but some women have oil. Well, some people have oily uh, hair. They got that sebum in their hair and too much of it so in between the washes what they would do they would put cornstarch in their hair and brush it out to suck up and drop the oil you could put essential oil on it and everything
Smoothing it with my hands. I'm not using no combs. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit in that plastic bag for a while. Um, I don't necessarily have to sit in a dryer or anything like that. I notice this is not dripping. Usually it's really drippy and messy, but maybe I ain't put enough coconut oil in it. I'm going to put some more coconut oil inside of it. I didn't, I'm not, I didn't measure this, so it's pretty much sticking to my hair. Probably because I didn't cook it. <laughs> when you cook it, when you put all the ingredients in a bowl, it's quite watery. I didn't do that. I just, the only thing I heated up was the coconut cream concentrate. That's the only thing I heated up. Maybe that's why it's not running. It's more. And then I only put a little bit of cornstarch in it. Some water. So it could be very pliable and easy to manipulate. Stretch out. Water is your best friend when you come onto the head. <laughs> I was raised to be afraid of putting hair in my arm, water in my hair. When I used to have the Jerry Curl, I used to wash my hair all the time because when I went to summer camp, we would go to the beach and things like that. And I got in the habit of washing my hair. And I noticed my hair started looking better when I did that. I would wash my hair, put my conditioner, my activator in my hair. We had the Jerry Curl at the time. My mom told my aunt, I don't know why. My mother used to tell my aunt every damn thing I do. <laughs> I used to couldn't stand it. One of my aunts was like, uh, my mother's sister. Why you wash your hair every day? You ain't white. Child. You ain't supposed to wash your hair every day. You ain't white. Now, I was told this particular aunt. I'm going to call her Aunt Jack. This particular aunt used to have the quote-unquote good hair when she was younger. And then one of my other aunts messed it up. I don't know if she purposely did it. She wanted her hair straightened with the hot comb. It was something she wanted done to her hair. And she asked uh, one of my aunts, one of her older sisters, to do it. Her older sister to do it. And she messed it up. I think she messed it up on purpose. Cause this particular aunt is she is she was a better woman. I personally think she did that shit on purpose probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this aunt never liked my ass. But anyway. For some reason, even when I was a child, I was a shy, quiet child. She used to always mess with me about everything. She used to say, I act like an old person. I got an old soul. I have an old soul. So, I act mature than my usual, usual age. Now, I'm a kid at heart. I'm a kid's kid. But compared to most children back then, I was unique. I had an old soul. And she couldn't stand that. She said, you act old. You need to act like a child. You act old. You move old. You talk old. Then, when I got old then I tried to do the kid stuff. You act too much. You act like a baby. Shut up, please. 
I know she didn't freaking like my ass. I really, it was the last straw. I don't want to talk about the last straw when I had to cuss her ass out. And I normally don't do that. I normally don't cuss out my elders. But she called me a B-word. She tried to be slick about it. Her son actually called me a B-word. And I told her. And she said, shut up, I feel like one. That was, that's another drama. We, you know, we squashed that. That's another drama from a long time ago. I don't want to get into that. But, um, yeah, my cuss that ass out. I've had it. Really. I said, I don't ever want to talk to you ever again. She died of a heart attack. She had a heart attack. Not because after that, but um, about uh, two years after that, a year or so after that, she died of a um, she had a heart disease come from her. Because she was bitter. She held so much in her heart. I mean, this woman would literally, my mom used to, go, we used to go shopping on Saturday. She would pick my mom and myself up and we go shopping every Saturday. And all she did, that's how, I, it's a gospel song that she used to play in her car that I love. I posted it on my, it's called the Zazam channel. Depends on what channel I decide to post this one. Just call me Zim Channel. He ought to be, you ought to be here when the Lord said me. She used to play that, like the old time gospel. I love old time gospel songs. But she would sit there, and I don't live far from the church she used to attend for years, and gospel about everybody in her church. Just talk shit about now. Gossip about everybody in her church. It was crazy. And this is the uh we used to go to our regular religious church and then we would go, I back then me and my mom we would go to church twice on a Sunday. We would go to our regular church and then we would go to church with my aunt. She started going to this one particular church. I think this white man was the um was the pastor of this church. It was like one of those mega churches they call them mega churches now it was like one of those type of churches it was big and they used to be downtown and we used to go at night like in the evening time and sometimes we would go to her church her church had music my church that i was a part of they believe in having instruments <clears throat> they could sing a cappella though let me tell you they don't believe and have an instruments in the church. They don't believe women should wear pads. They don't believe women should preach. All that stuff. It was so funny. Yeah, they don't they didn't they didn't believe in all that. No, I was no your witness or nothing. <laughs> Like that church is just not for me. It's too big. If I want, in, I, I'd rather stay home than be in a dead church. I'm sorry, it's just too dead to me. The last time I've been there was at my cousin's funeral, and <laughs> uh uh, <laughs> hell to the no. I'll try to get me to go back. Me and my husband, um, no. She said, you were baptized here, right? I said, mm -hmm. I was baptized here when I was 12. Still got the certificate, too. I still got the certificate. She said, well, you know, your father left because of this man. I know why he left. That's just what he told them. But I know why he left. Because this lady called herself embarrassing him and my mom. <sighs> because of my brother. My brother had issues. 
and we moved in the neighborhood and she kind of like, you know, my brother had mental issues because he was on drugs. And she kind of like, um, try to blow their spot up, right? Instead of pulling on the side, instead of coming, she literally lived across the street from us. This woman decided to wait till we went to church and decided to embarrass my parents right at the door where people leave and come in at and where the preacher sit there and shake everybody in at. She embarrassed them, talked about my brother, oh, he this and that. But then check this out. Her, grand, her, her nephews or grandson was the one selling drugs to my brother. Everybody knew it. They were the ones selling the drugs to my brother right out of her house. That's why my father left. They want to know because, oh, he could get too old. He couldn't walk the state. It wasn't that. That one day, that was part of it. But that one day. My father started going to another church. It was the same organization, but it was just somewhere else away from that. This woman on Harley come across the street, visit, talk. No, she gonna wait till we get to church to humiliate my parents like that. And yo grandsons, yo nephews are the ones selling the drugs to my brother. Really? Now, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. See, people think children don't remember shit. I'm 43, and I remember that day like it was yesterday. I remember how hurt and embarrassed my parents were. My parents are in the grave right now. I remember all that like it was yesterday. I may forget some stuff and I might be forgetful on certain things. But that I didn't forget. He called herself so trying to call me across the street one day and I won't go. See, I'm not talking to that lady but myself. What we got to talk about? I don't need no less shit from her. And like I said, that's what I was thinking at the time. I do not need no less shit or anything from the likes of her. And her granddaughters was homeless. I used to go to school with her. They were homeless. They used to always try to use me to sneak out the house when they was on punishment just to go meet up with guys. They used to use me because, you know, oh, you know, she from a good family. So if I sat and hang with her, I could get out of punishment and then these girls end up playing me out or whatever. <laughs> Bye, touche. I don't want to hang with y'all in here either. It was just too much for me. It was like, it was too much in my, with her with her family. I think I already told a story about how um, the guy played me out. Yeah, I told that story already about this guy I really, really like. He's married now. We, me and my husband, we saw him at the gym um, about a year or so back. We saw him at the gym. He's a firefighter in my city. Um, we saw him at the gym, and I heard he recently got married. But back then, I used to have this really bad crush on him. And the lady that embarrassed my parents at the church, her granddaughter liked him too. Her granddaughter, that was the same year she moved in with her grandma. Uh, so... She liked him too. It was another girl that I don't end up that liked him too. I mean, he, he, cooked it. he was literally tall, dark, and handsome. And he still looked the same. He's just a little older, but he still looks the same. Tall, dark, and handsome. Okay. And 
day. He was built. He kept his shape. He played basketball. He played sports. He worked. He used to work. He used to put a part-time job at the supermarket. Oh, my God. I remember when he first drove his car, he got his car that year. And I liked him. I was a virgin, man. I was like, I really like him. And I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn, should I get my virginity up to him? But when I told him I was a virgin, it was like he got scared off or something. I don't know. It's like he it spooked him out. But anyway, we was talking, we was talking. Like, it was so serious. We was even talking about the birth control, like protection and shit. We was having conversations about that, like protection, birth control, all that stuff. So, one day, I keep my mom, lady from the church, my grandkids, and all of them live across the street from me. I see the guy right across the street. You know, he he hangs out with her, cut her older cousin. They be playing basketball shit together. And I walk up to him to talk to him, you know. And one of her granddaughters was like, tell her, tell her, tell her. And then he says to me, um, I can't talk to you anymore. I can't talk to you whatever. Blah blah blah. We can't talk. And he says some other stuff. He just hurt my feelings. He's like, we can't talk no more. I don't like you that way. Blah 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 blah. He said, like, okay, fine. And then the whore was like, no. He turned to the whore. What is it? One of one of the whore. He said. You happy now? I knew she had something to do with that. It because it didn't even sound like him. I knew she had something to do with him you know, saying you don't talk to me no more. Because he turned to her and said, "Are you happy now?" And she kissed him in front of me all. She put and she gave him like a like a kiss in front of in front of me. I'm running the house, and this chick was ugly. Let me tell you. Still is. She ugly. Um, she had like one of those, um, like how you could see her gums in the front with a little bit of teeth in it. She had braces over that. Um, what's up with that? I know it's on quite a few um people who had that. I don't know if that's some type of condition or what. But she was ugly, but. Dudes was chasing her because she had that body. She had the butt, breast. She had that body and shit. And then she was easy. She was easy. So. We were like, oh, you know, but she ain't, she ain't got no kids. Because she probably had abortion. She you know she used to, when we used to be cool when we hang out together, she would tell me, oh, if I ever have an abortion, I got good to go to my aunt. I could just go to my aunt. Mm -hmm. She was low key, like she was dry snitching on herself. So they trying to say, oh, she ain't got no more kids, but how many pregnancies she had? You know what I mean? Mm. Anyway, how many pregnancies she had? I'll wait. So that, that kind of like hurt my feelings and shit. I wasn't going to talk about this. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm going to in this direction. But like I said, now today she's a lesbian. <laughs> He's married, I'm married, and she's a lesbian. Was it worth it? Just like it was another um, female, this is when I was working in security, who called herself trying to chase after a dude that I like or whatever. She claimed she didn't like him. Trying to chase after him. Oh, you don't wanna, you know how these hoes, let me tell you what these hoes do. They go behind the scenes, they smile in your face, and they go to the other dude. Yo, you're my mess for her, you're my mess for her. She nasty, she this, she that. They'll even lie, they'll say, not saying that happened to me, but I wouldn't, I don't know. 
it hasn't caught my ears. <laughs> so, they hope I say the girl got her STD, she nasty, she been around. They do anything, say anything to that dude to get him not to want to talk to you. So, I think this that's what this one did. That's why I don't like having... You know how some women, we bond sometimes when we talking about sex and stuff. There's just certain bitches you don't do that with. I had to learn that the hard way. You know, as like a, you know, kind of like a bonding, you know, way. Guys got their way of bonding with each other. Women got their way of bonding with each other. Sometimes we talk about sex and, oh, what's the we who we, what's the we we would, would, would smash or we would, would have sex with or whatever. You know what I mean? That shit, if you talk about sexual stuff and they don't know about it, oh, they get mad as fuck. If you start talking about shit besides missionary and doggy, honey, you start talking about oral sex and you start talking about cherries, ice, uh, uh, peppermints, icy hot, y'all know about that, right? <laughs> you start talking about that shit and how to use it. And they don't know about it. Mm. You nasty. Mm, what? Mm -mm. Let me find out. Let me find out. Mm -mm. Let me find out. So I think that was one of those situations with her ass. The guy was feeling her first. She ain't one of them. I guess he was too dark for her ass. He, she liked them light skin men. It was dark skinned dudes checking her out because she's not a bad looking woman. But she liked them light skinned dudes. Or she like particular. If you're dark skinned, you gotta look a certain way. You gotta look a certain way. You gotta look like that dude, like Ralph Angel or some shit like that. You gotta look a certain way. So this one particular dude kept hollering at her. And, but I was feeling him. I was like, damn, he cute. He, he built. He played football. I know his brother was in the um, NFL. He played for Florida or something. I forgot. I'm not into football, so I don't know. I, I can't tell you what team it was, but it was Florida. Some place in Florida. Gosh. But anyway, so he played football too. Not for no NFL, but for some other league on the side. And he worked for the airline. So he would holler at her, holler at her, holler at her. And I was like, mm, you, you know, I said, like, you not feeling him? He said, well, she said, well, he feeling me, but he too young for me. And plus, I don't date guys that work for the airlines and stuff because they were all dogs and blah, 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 which most of them are. But I was, because I dated a couple of them. <laughs> I dated a few of them. I dated a few of them. One of them was that Rastafarian. I talked about in that video. Um, there was another one who came by my house. They, the, the baby was engaged. Not my baby, but some other chick he dated. After we, after he dated, finished dating, he wanted to still be friends and shit. How are you going to tell me to lose your number and then turn around and call me and want me to be friends with you? Nigga, bye. That nigga was bipolar as hell. Dumping him was the best thing ever. But see, I played games with that motherfucker. I made him, he called himself breaking up with me. In my head, he just didn't know I was like, good. Because I'm going to break up with your crazy ass. He just made shit easy for me. Because I literally was trying to figure out how to break up, how you break up with a crazy motherfucker. Especially when you give him good, good, good pool tank. And your head game is good. How you break up with somebody like that? They just don't let go like that. But what was I? Yeah. She like the one. Oh, I hope you about to wake up and come to this in a minute. Yeah. So anyway, oh, was I? oh yeah, the guy was digging her, right? And 
she wasn't feeling him. So, I asked her for a whole month. I can't bitch in a month. I said, you, you sure you don't want to date him? Because he was literally, literally like, that went on her heart. She's like, nah, I don't want to date him. Plus, she was dating him other guys, too. And it's like, she was already dating many, many men. I'm just going to say that she's one of them. She like to date multiple guys at one time. <laughs> she was dating many, many men at the time, anyway. So, one day he approached me, you know, at the time I was a, y'all seen pictures of me. I showed y'all so many pictures of me. Not all of them, though. Not the ones, some of the ones when I used to wear the wig. Oh, my God. I used to color my hair. I used to throw the wig. And I did my own hair out. I used to wear the wig, the burgundies, all that stuff. I used to wear my contacts. Shit, I was full of myself because you never know who you might see at the airport. You know what I mean? One time Mike Tyson came through. You see all sorts of celebrities at the airport. All sorts of celebrities. You you meet senators. I saw Al Sharpton do, come through one time. So you never know who you're going to meet. At the airport, I remember the time I saw Biggie Smalls. He asked if he told me B.I.G. I saw her walking past the and He walked right past me. And I said, Biggie! He kind of looked sideways at his eye and did like that and kept going. I remember that. That was way, that was like months before he was killed. I never forgot that. I saw Little C. Little C said, hey, what's up to me? Um... Little Kim, I didn't get to see Little Kim. Little Kim was upstairs. I saw P. Diddy the night Biggie got shot and he came back to the East Coast. He, he came through North Airport. He came back to the East Coast. I'll never forget it. We were saying, we sorry. We sorry what happened. We sorry. He was in tears. I remember seeing that with my own eyes. P. Diddy had like, he was in terror. He couldn't stop crying, I'm telling you. He was like, we sorry, we sorry for what happened, we sorry. He was surrounded by his like bodyguards and stuff. I'm telling you. It goes down at the airport, okay? So anyway, my husband will tell you because he used to work out there too. But um at, at the terminals, he still worked at the airport, he will that bad. Like working at the terminals, like like Continental at the time it was Continental was called United now. At them terminals where the people or flights come in. But anyway, a month went by. I asked him, "You ain't feeling me? You ain't feeling me?" So one day he approached me, and I was bold. I was shy, but if I meet you, I will approach you. I will get enough money to approach you first. I have a question, I have a crush, okay? So, he approached me and was like, you know, you look really pretty. I was like, thank you. So, after that, we ended up exchanging numbers. We ended up exchanging numbers. And, now mind you, I'm confiding in her because I thought she was cool at the time. Funny, you want me about her. I should have listened to my friend. <sighs> Why did I do that? But you know what? I'm glad I did that because I got to see another side of her ass. I'll tell you what she did. I said, girl, I got his number. She said, who? Ty, I got his number. I got his number. She said, you did? You, you got his number? I said, yeah, girl. Do you know the next day? That bitch, that bitch, <laughs> pulled him to the side in front of me. They was like on the other side, but we could see her. She was my supervisor. She did this in front of me. She asked the girl next to me for a pen. Why they was exchanging numbers in front of me? In front of me, they was exchanging phone numbers. Then they started dating, y'all. They started dating. I called him, he would kind of like brush me off when I would call him because he was trying to talk to her. And 
gifted shawl. He took her to Atlanta City. She called out once at night. He took her to Atlanta City. Then all them bitches that didn't like me on there was like bragging about the date. But then world got to me that he was dissing her ass. He was talking about how dry her yawning was, how her, her puss was. You don't know what a yawning is. Yawning is just a, a, a fancy word for vagina. And this is coming from his boys. Remember, I know people that were out there where he was at. I was like, wow. I dodged a bullet, though. I dodged a bullet. So, they were dating for a while. Child, they fucking with. He don't have a baby on her. Why they were dating her? And they were still dating. If my calculations are correct, Cause we all Facebook friends now. We Facebook friends. And he got a wife. He got married. Not to her ass though. Check this out. She's still single to this day. And she's older than me. By a couple years. She's still single. Still work out there. Doing the same thing they used to do. The Air Force Security still doing that. Um, I will see her from time to time when I go out there. Yeah, that girl still single. That I don't got married nor doing. He got married to someone else in the end. And I'm looking at the date that he claimed he got married. And that was around the time he was seen with her ass. The one that my, my supervisor, he was seen picking her up around, I guess, around that time he was with his wife. Because my best friend was working out there at another company and saw them together. Ain't none of my business. Ain't none of my business. He was most likely probably with someone and then he was trying to holler at her anyway. I dodged a bullet. I dodged a bullet. Child, he don't got no fat. He got fat, though. I know I'm fat, but he got fat. He's not broke anymore. His wife is pretty. He got he got him a little he got him a little um light skin gal. He got wife, kids, all that. He's a family man. Huh? Still got men coming, pushing up to her, trying to buy her. I guess they stuck near her. But she always got dudes giving her pool and stuff. I guess they still do that. <laughs> oh, she a granny now. She a grandma. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's two women try to play me and ended up being a woman. And then the lesbian, the first one, the girl that watched she a, she's a lesbian. She ain't got no kids. No man in her life. Child, she keep breaking all up off and on with her little stud ass lesbian woman. She she one of those I ain't gonna say no usually studs are good looking, right? Let me shut up. Let me shut up. I know you my one, but you keep breaking up old shit. That's why I'm breaking. I'm digging up old bones. You don't like to get the fuck off my channel. Yeah, somebody right the other day. Oh, I saw your edges. This particular troll followed me. They followed me from channel to channel. Each channel that I had. Just talking shit. Talking about the old fucking shit. So, some of them from New York uh, drop charges. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Some woman from New York. Bitch, if you don't go sit your ass down somewhere, first of all, you're too scared to show yourself. You're, still, you're too scared to come up against me. I keep telling the fucking bitch, show some receipts. I even opened up a live platform, a live platform that 
dedicated for these motherfuckers to come through and air their grievances, including that bitch, whoever that is. What applies I am. Bitch, you need to change that name for real. Prize. Last time I checked, people show off prize. Why are you too scared to come on camera and show your face? You got a picture of a motherfucking trophy. Where? A prize. Where, bitch? You're supposed to be a hero, you know, fuck it. <laughs> I'll cut it up. More like trash, a tragedy. Do you even have a man? Where you got the time to sit there and follow me from channel to channel? You go on my, you go on my comedy channel and you talk to slick. You go under my gaming videos, talk to slick, and this is about game, just about game shit. And this motherfucker, yeah, you know, you you, you did an edge video. And I didn't actually do a video. I replayed a video someone else did. I didn't say a motherfucker's name. I did a, a reaction to a video that I saw. It was actually a live stream. And I actually commented on that live stream. That I saw when a woman was happy to talk about baby hairs. I sure did. I thought that shit was funny. It was funny. It was somewhat true at the same damn time. <laughs> so this person tried to call me out on being messy. And if I was being messy, what it is to you? Because right now you're hiding behind pictures talking about what a prize you are. And you probably you most likely came at me under other names too. You probably that one particular troll that was going around other people videos like Anthony and some other people on here trying to call yourself trying to get them to do videos about me this one particular troll came under this one particular guy he's a gay guy video trying to get him to come for me talk to me yeah uh just called Miss Lindsay to did a video about you about in between us and she talked about you and she got jacked up nail polish yes cheap nail polish and her husband he's he's this and that i'm like he comes almost damn near cussing me out and i said motherfucker who you think you talking to so he backpedaled watched the video and was like my bad i apologize and all this and that and he gave that motherfucker up he said, yeah, somebody by the name of so, 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 so under my video talking shit about you. I went under his video, found that person, and licked their motherfucking ass up in front of everybody. The bitch ran. Because the person didn't think he was going to do that. We was talking. I was like, yeah, you know, next time, you know, you got to investigate the matter. You know, in between is like the start shit. They like, that's what they do. They like to get YouTubers to go at each other. Like, this particular motherfucker will sit there and be like, Oh, you keep talking about that lady acting like she's so for the lady. And then she'll go under that lady video under another account, cussing her ass out. That's how they, that's how they do. I've been on YouTube a long time. I know, I know the fucking tricks of the fucking in between the trolls and some people ain't rap too tight on here they don't believe the trolls before they'll believe an actual person some of them just because they don't like you the fact some fact they don't like you all trolls gotta do is be like yeah this one particular troll went under this lady video that I had an issue with right and was like yeah you know Mrs. is them and they, they make sure to put my whole name out there. And this is them. This corny this is them going around. Um, this person say, I know I got I got receipts for that too. 
I'm not on my laptop, but I got receipts of that too. I'll probably shout this person that I don't know. But this one particular troll went on this person video and was like, and she wasn't even talk about nothing. It was like one of them happy time videos she had. <clears throat> I think she was out with her family. I don't know. This motherfucker. Yeah, just call me as a young talking about shit about you on the other people's sites. And then the, then the troll proceeded to say that I'm flagging her videos or some shit like that. And I was like, Oh, that's something my husband watching. Mm. The fucking troll said I'm on other sites talk shit about it. And I'm one of the ones flag going around flagging videos and shit. I had to sign out that for a minute because I'm like, first of all, I don't when the BBW chick was coming for me under those videos. I didn't even flag her. Matt, as a matter of fact, when she went in on them other women she was cool with, they was advising me to flag her ass. I said, no, I don't flag. I said, I'll play with her. I'll dance with her for a minute and do my little videos and make my content and make my motherfucking money. I ain't gonna flag her motherfucking ass. 